Say hi. Say hi. My name is JJ. My name is JJ. JJ. We call him JJ. Say, I'm 15. It is T. And I love movies. I love movies. You gonna make a movie? How the videos helped JJ with his speech. Um, Jay will listen to the movies and he will, like a sponge, he'll take in every script and he knows every word to every movie. And then occasionally in conversation, he'll use a line to converse with me and he uses it properly. Like one time we were at the zoo and it was a hundred some degrees out and we got all done, and I said, see how much Nana loves you? We stood out and cooked in this heat. And he said, what do you want, a medal? And that's from the movie Ice Age. The little possums say that to Manny. Um, then he'll speak in Spanish to me, because he'll turn his movies into Spanish language or French language, and he'll converse back in a foreign language with me. Um, before, he was nonverbal, completely nonverbal. But with memorizing the different scripts of the movies, he's learned how to grab certain lines and be able to come back and say things to me, which is great, I think. I think it helps him. His own little speech therapist. So. Oh, Buzz Lightyear? To infinity. And beyond. And beyond. Yep. Is he your, who's your favorite Toy Story character? Is it Buzz? Buzz? Who's that? Woody? Woody? Yeah, you Buzz Lightyear. Is that your favorite? And we used to go to the store, how he started with movies, which I thought was interesting, is we'd go to the store and he was small enough to sit in the front of the cart and we would go, and he would always want to just go down the movie aisle. The toys weren't of interest yet. So we'd go down the movie aisle, and I would hand him a new movie or an, an animated movie. And he would never look at the picture. He would always flip it over, and he would read. And I kept telling everybody, this child can read. And they'd go, okay, no, we don't think so. And I said, why does he flip it to the back when there's nothing really exciting back there? And he would just read. And after he'd read, he'd either put it in the cart or he'd hand it back to me that he wasn't interested. So come kindergarten, when he finally went into public school in the kindergarten, all the teachers come rushing out one day to bring him out to the car and they went, he can read, he can read. And I'm like, <laughs> but it started with the movies. He was reading the movies to see if he was interested in that, what was going on, the promise of that movie. Um, it's just always been... I think, and a lot of his movies, too, have a lot to do with underdogs. Like, The Greatest American Hero, this little boy, was he couldn't play baseball, he was too small. Or Chicken Little, he was too little to hold the bat, but he becomes a, a, a hero. Um, the little one little kid that they would never let him play Sandlot, he ends up hitting a home run with Babe Ruth. Um, Valiant is a little uh, carrier pigeon that was smaller than all the other pigeons, but he's the one that delivered the information that they needed to stop a war. It's always movies like that that interest him, which is I find really intriguing. Oh, yeah. That's perfect. Music and movies yeah. have definitely helped well, that's a lot what of people. Time he got... Especially with sensory and stuff. Two, uh, we were at Flower Hospital. My daughter had to go get some tests done. And he sat down at this piano and started playing piano. And I went, and this guy goes, he's pretty good. And I'm like, how does he know how to play this piano? And that's where I put, where words fail, music speaks. We found this star. 